my name is Nelsie No. Um, this is my new YouTube channel. Um, here we're going to be talking a lot about The Sims 4, possibly The Sims 5. Uh, we'll get into that later. And a lot of Skyrim as well. And when it comes out, Elder Scrolls 6. This video is going to be about um, an article that I found that popped up on my feed. Ah, okay, so this article was from the Sims community. Um, is that a thing? Yes, the Sims community. <laughs> um, so apparently, they're in the development. Is it Maxis? Maxis is in the development of the Sims 5. And I have a couple of things to say about this. Apparently in 2018, according to the article in 2018, Maxis started looking for game developers and other sorts of career listings that came up on there. I haven't actually looked at all the career listings, they look really interesting. I've definitely heard about some simmers talking about how there was going to be a new Sims 5 and I read a couple articles about it. But I didn't think it was quite in this deep. I didn't realize how how much work they were doing on it already. And can I be completely honest with you? I'm not very happy about that. I mean, yeah, I'm totally excited for a new Sims 5. And I'm excited to see what they have. But why don't you work on The Sims 4 first? Today, I compiled a list of the best and worst, in my opinion, <laughs> Um, characteristics of The Sims 4. Let's start with the worst. <laughs> um, so, my first thing is that The Sims 4 can be super glitchy. It can be extremely buggy as well and I just think that every time, okay, so for example, every time I go to see a new article about the packs, I just see a bunch of people in the comments section below talking about how, wow, you should fix all the bugs before these packs, <laughs> and none of these are working for me because they're so bugged, and I'm like, wow, this is really not good business, is it? My next pick <laughs> is that the base game is super vanilla. It's just very plain Jane, and it's very... I don't know the right word, it's just very plain. And when I first started playing The Sims, I played it on PS4 and I just got so bored. I didn't even want to play it anymore and then I didn't even realize that you could buy packs because that's when I first started playing Sims 4. And holy crap, I was just... Oh, when I found packs, I was like, oh this is awesome! But then they all started bugging out on me and I was like, well... Why did I buy this? <laughs> My next point, which talks about the expansion packs. So, the expansion packs are super, super expensive. The packs with up till the eco, uh, what is it, eco lifestyle, e eco living, whatever that pack is called. Up until that, according to Screen Rant, it costs 481.41 Canadian dollars. That's almost $500. That's ridiculous. And, um, can I just say that I had almost all of the packs on PS4, and then I got a PC, and I found out that you cannot transfer your packs onto a PC. Can I just express how angry I was about that? I was so frustrated. It's unbelievable. And you know what? There should be able to have, like say, an EA login, which keeps track of what packs you have. And um, I get that on Origin, now it works. But that doesn't work for Xbox or PS4 or or PC. It just feels like a money grab and it feels like it's been very rushed. Sometimes the commands don't work so if you tell a sim to go um, go eat for example or go to work which really pisses me off is because when I tell my sim to go to work and I don't want them to be late 
sometimes they end up being late because they don't want to work and I have to go into my cheats console and I have to reset my sim and for people who don't know about cheats or they don't like to use cheats that can be very frustrating um, and I just think that it takes away from the game a lot. The sims themselves have zero personality. They are so freaking bipolar it's not even funny. They go from happy to sad to embarrassed all within one day and I mean yeah humans can do that but typically it doesn't work that way and they just change moods so fast it's unbelievable. Um, I'm not sure if this is still a thing but when I played um, on PS4 and this was a while ago I haven't played Sims 4 um, on PS4 and I don't have the packs because I'm a, I'm a student <laughs> and they're freaking expensive as we have already discussed. Um, the eco living pack creates a negative effect on decor that isn't eco and do you know how much that pissed me off? when I found that out after I made a gigantic house and then I like what is this this trait and it's like bored and I'm like why why is this a thing the other thing that pisses me off a lot is that the sims take forever to eat they take forever it takes them 40 minutes to eat a meal um, I eat like that, but that's because I eat super slow. How often, like, what's the average human? 15 minutes? Let's say 15 minutes. 20 if you're feeling a bit, you know. But most people can eat within a 15 to 20 minute time span. And I know that there is, I think it's a mod that allows you to speed up how Sims eat. But why should we be relying on a mod to do this? Um, I'm just gonna say this straight out. Babies suck. The <laughs> Babies suck so much. Please fix the babies. The babies. All they do is cry and get upset. They don't feel love. They don't, like, there's no connection. That They are just so sad and depressing. Oh, the other thing, babysitters don't do anything. They just come in for like three hours and pretend to do shit and don't actually do anything. There is no cars, and I mean, yeah, crats for you for walking everywhere. But when I'm rich and I have a lot of money, I want a nice car. And I want my sims to have nice cars. So please, give us cars. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, this one is a really big one for me. It is the missing life stages. We have, what is it, young adult, adult, teen, um, toddler, and baby and elder. I did them all backwards, I'm sorry. But that's six life stages. And how many life stages do we go through in our lives? Like honestly, it's depressing to see this. For a life simulator, it's not very simulated, if I'm being completely honest. But to an extent, I do like that. I do like the animation of it. With The Sims hairstyles, for example, they are just plain almost blocks of hair. But that's, that's how Sims look. That's just how the Sims look in this particular style. And you come to notice that. Like, for example, Mickey Mouse's ears. That is a trait. And for the Sims, I think that their hairstyle and their animated look um, that's re less realistic brings out their character. Moving on to our best... Uh, traits of The Sims 4 because I like to be positive sometimes. <laughs> sometimes I like to be fairly negative and I apologize for that. But I love the endless possibilities of The Sims 4. Yes, it's not an open world like The Sims 3, but we already know how that went. Sims 3 was huge and it took special computers to even bring it up and run it properly. It was huge and it often made computers crash and it's just so 
The Sims 4, it isn't quite as open, and I heard this one suggestion, I can't remember where it was, it was from a YouTube video a while ago, and it was talking about having open neighborhoods, and I really like that suggestion. If you know who made the suggestion, please give them credit, <laughs> because I don't know who did it. We have a lot of customization in The Sims 4, believe it or not. We are able to have mods, we are able to have custom content, and we have a lot of amazing creators for that. It's honestly, The Sims community is absolutely amazing and I just think it's fantastic that there are games that allow you to have your own input in it and I think The Sims tries to do that. I personally really liked being able to share builds with the gallery. I thought that that was another way that we could bring together The Sims community um, and with The Sims 5 I'm, I'm open to the idea of having multiplayer as I saw that there was a multiplayer option hopefully to be brought in but I would also like to make sure that it's still able to be single player because I, I don't know if I would really use the multiplayer that much um, but I'm definitely open to it. I think it's a great idea and I think a lot of people would actually use it. <laughs> now as much as I've complained about the packs talking about how expensive they are, I still like the packs that we have and I think that there's a lot of great ideation behind them. That They are really good and I just think that they need to be slowed down and taken their time with them because it is quite obvious that they were rushed and don't get me wrong there's a lot of hard work that goes into this and I really respect that and I thank the gurus so much for that but please lower the price just a tiny bit <laughs> so that is all of my list um now as far as The Sims 5 goes um would I buy it? <laughs> That's a loaded question, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> because I really want to say that I would absolutely buy it, but if it's gonna be like The Sims 4, I really don't know if I would. I'm gonna be completely honest. But, I don't know. I wanna say yes, but I also I don't know. My brain says no, my heart says yes. It's one of those types of situations. Thank you.